Yo everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into the life of a legend, a boxing icon, Iron Mike Tyson. Yeah, that's right, the man with a knockout punch and, well, a lifestyle that might just knock you out too. We're talking mansions so big they could be their own cities, car collections that would make a king jealous and enough bling to blind a disco ball. But before we jump into the world of Tyson's extravagant tastes, let's rewind. We'll explore his early life, the journey that took him from Brooklyn streets to the top of the boxing world. We'll uncover the facts, the fights, and maybe even a few controversies along the way. So buckle up, because this is one wild ride. We're gonna peek behind the curtain of Mike Tyson's life, the luxurious side, the early struggles, and everything in between. Iron Mike's story isn't all glitz and glam. It all started on the tough streets of Brooklyn, New York. Born in 1966, Mike's life wasn't easy. His father left the family when he was just a toddler, leaving his mom, Lorna, to raise him and his siblings on her own. Money was tight, and they moved around a lot, living in some pretty rough neighborhoods. Young Mike wasn't exactly an angel. He was a handful, often getting into trouble. By 13, he'd been arrested a whopping 38 times. Things weren't looking good. That's when fate stepped in, in the form of a boxing coach named Bobby Stewart. Bobby saw a raw talent simmering beneath Mike's tough exterior. But before boxing, there was another life-changing event. Mike lost his mom when he was just 16, leaving him without much stability. It was a tough blow, but Bobby knew Mike needed a guiding hand. He introduced him to legendary trainer Kus D'Amato, who became a father figure to Mike. D'Amato took Mike in, trained him, and instilled in him a love for boxing. This was the turning point. Mike's raw talent, combined with D'Amato's guidance, started to channel that streetwise energy into something positive. We'll delve deeper into this transformation and how Mike's early struggles shaped him into the champion he became. Later in the video, Cus D'Amato became Mike Tyson's anchor. Under his tutelage, Mike's natural aggression and raw power were honed into a force unlike anything the boxing world had ever seen. He turned professional at just 18, and let's just say, his opponents weren't ready. Victories came fast and furious, most ending in devastating knockouts. His ferocious style, combined with his intimidating presence, earned him nicknames like Kid Dynamite, and later, the infamous The Baddest Man on the Planet. By 1986, at the young age of 20, Mike achieved what many thought impossible. He defeated Trevor Burbick to become the youngest heavyweight champion in boxing history. This wasn't just a win, it was a coronation. He continued his reign of dominance, adding more belts to his collection and absolutely demolishing challengers. It was a whirlwind of power, speed and pure, unadulterated Tyson. But with great power comes great scrutiny. Controversies began to swirl around Mike's life. Some questioned his management, while others criticized his behavior outside the ring. A shocking upset loss to Buster Douglas in 1990 shattered his undefeated record and cast a shadow over his career. There were legal troubles, personal struggles, and a string of losses that tarnished his once unbeatable image. Remember that knockout punch we mentioned earlier? Well, it seems Mike Tyson delivered some serious financial knockouts too. His boxing success translated into a lifestyle of pure luxury, and a big part of that picture was his incredible car collection. We're talking about rides that would make even the most discerning car enthusiast drool. Imagine roaring down the street in a Rolls-Royce Corniche, a classic symbol of opulent comfort. Mike wasn't shy about indulging in the finer things, and he owned not one, but four Rolls Royces at one point. Back in the day, a Rolls Royce Corniche could set you back around $245,000. But luxury wasn't all about comfort for Mike. He craved speed and power too. That's where his collection of Italian stallions comes in. We're talking about iconic Ferraris like the F50, a limited edition masterpiece with a top speed that would leave you breathless. Back in the 1990s, owning an F50 meant dropping a cool $3.9 million. And let's not forget the audacious Lamborghini Diablo, a car that screams power and performance. 
Mike owned a couple of these beauties, solidifying his reputation as a man who loved to make a statement. A Lamborghini Diablo back then could cost anywhere between $300,000 to $500,000. There were more, a Jaguar here, a Bentley there. Mike's car collection was a reflection of his larger-than-life personality. Now let's talk about Tyson's luxury mansions that would make Bruce Wayne jealous. First up, there was the infamous Connecticut mansion. This 52-room behemoth boasted 21 bedrooms, a whopping 25 bathrooms, and an indoor pool, all for a cool $23 million back in the day. The extravagance didn't stop there. We're talking about a nightclub a casino room complete with gambling tables. However, as his fortunes changed, so did his living situation. Today, Mike resides in a more modest yet still luxurious mansion in Henderson, Nevada. This 10, 400 square foot Italian style beauty boasts an impressive $2.5 million price tag. It features elegant marble floors, a grand staircase, and a relaxing outdoor space complete with a pool, spa, and even an outdoor kitchen. It's a far cry from the wild days of the Connecticut mansion, but still a testament to Mike's taste for the finer things in life. But Mike's spending spree wasn't limited to real estate. He dripped in diamonds, rocking massive necklaces and gold chains that would blind a disco ball. These weren't your average accessories. They were statements of wealth, Tyson style, and speaking of statements, let's not forget his entourage of exotic pets. We all remember the tigers, but Mike also had a thing for white Bengal tigers, a pet chimp. Can you imagine the chaos? And even a collection of pigeons. These weren't goldfish in a bowl. These were high maintenance creatures with hefty price tags to match. But here's the thing. Some sources estimate Mike Tyson blew through over $400 million during his career. That's a lot of cash, even for a heavyweight champion. While a big chunk went to his lavish lifestyle, there were also stories of mismanagement and bad financial decisions. Remember that gold-plated bathtub? A reported cool $2.2 million. That kind of indulgence adds up fast. All right, beastly athletes, that's a wrap on Iron Mike. From rags to riches, tigers to titans, it's been a wild ride. One thing's clear. Mike Tyson was a beast in the ring, a beast in life. He lived by the beastly athlete code. Defy limits, rewrite the game. Love him or hate him, Tyson's a legend. If you dug this, hit that like button and subscribe for more beastly content. We'll bring you the stories of incredible athletes, their battles, their victories, and everything that makes them beastly.